Hello, my friends, and welcome back uh, to another tutorial. Um, I hope you have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, I've actually uh, began this. Uh, it was very similar to this. Um, got about halfway and I hated it. So I washed the canvas completely, um, got all the paint off, let it dry. I came back, um, added some more gesso here to more define my waterfall and some rocks on the side. Used a sponge just to tap all these thingies and trees. Used my sponge on a, you know, kind of at an angle to do some tree stumps on both sides and some branches. Um, so we're going to have a uh, kind of, this is kind of the third in the series of uh, some backlit waterfall paintings that I've done. So this will be the last one. So we're going to have a kind of a greenish tint up here. A uh, nice waterfall, some rocks on the side. This side will be, I think, a little closer to us. This will be a little further back. The water will cut in front of these rocks. Uh, of course, we'll have a little uh, sunshine, a little light coming from here. I guess we'll try and light up this side. We'll have some, I think, some green grass down here. This waterfall will come and hit and be a little stream that kind of cuts this way and out of the out of the painting. And then we'll have some foreground land, as I said, here um, with some grass and some stuff so we'll see where it goes it could all change at any time uh before i get started again this is all gesso it's dry it's ready to go this is a little discolored because when i washed the canvas before i couldn't get it obviously completely white but that's okay we can work with that um, so i'm going to use a two inch brush and some gamblin clear gel and i'm just going to tap get some clear gel on the on the brush and we're going to apply this as our uh a medium as opposed to uh, liquid clear. So when I do this, I just kind of like to tap, just kind of in grid fashion. Again, just get some more. Tap it on there real good. And then we'll work it together. But that's mainly what we want. I'm not worried about using this in too much of the painting. The only places that we need it are where we're going to put some underpaint. So in these areas here, and of course the sky, uh, we'll need a little on the waterfall. I'm going to go get a little more on my palette. Bear with me. And again, this is Gamblin Solvent Free Gel. Again, just like uh, Bob Ross is liquid clear. This is non-toxic. Okay, so my brush back. Again, just take my brush, just tap a little on the corner. Uh, we're definitely going to need some of this where our waterfall is. So we'll put some in there, and it's okay if it spills over. It's no big deal. But we're really just going to use it where we need to blend. We're not going to worry about the other areas. Um, we don't need to blend now down here in the water we're going to need to blend we're going to put some down there and we're going to put a little bit here so we can swirl in some mist so we'll do that okay so we got our base down now we'll come back with this brush and you see i've tapped in all these areas now we're going to connect all those so if you look at an angle you can see what's shiny and what's not shiny so just using circles that's all I do. Circles. Just work our way across and down over these areas where I'm going to have a lot of underpaint to make it easier to spread. That's why we want the clear gel. It just makes your, your paint easier to move around and blend. And I may have put too much on, so I may take a paper towel and wipe this a little bit. But then we'll come down the waterfall. Need the clear gel there. And again, if it spills over, no big deal. And then, of course, really work it in. We'll have it here where our water is. And then we'll have land cutting this off. So we'll go come down like this, I think, off this way. So we'll just work that in really good. Back up here. Make sure you get the tops and the corners. Okay, work that in. Circles. This always works best. This will not do it. You got to go like this. And if you got a little here, pick it up and move it down here. 
easy to do. Get too much in one spot, just kind of pick it up with your brush, move it over to this section. Again, we don't need too much here. We don't need it here, we're not going to be doing any blending. All right. Again, make sure you get the corners. And then back and forth, work it in real good. Good. And you can feel it. You touch. It's nice and slick. But again, you don't want too much of this on. And a good way to, if you want to get rid of some of it, you can use a shop towel. But you can also just clean your brush off. And then come back up and brush it again. This is going to pick up any extra you have. Rub it in real good. All right. I think that is good. Now we're ready to put our undercolor on. Okay. And by the way, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. You can do this on whatever size canvas you'd like. Um, as far as our colors on this, uh, not 100% sure. We'll add, we'll add them as we go. Um, I kind of like to leave it open-ended and I like to save money on paint. So I don't like to put piles of paint out that I may never use. Anyways, uh, we're going to start with a little bit of sap green that I have on my palette here. Um, I'm just going to use my paint with Bram uh, brush. Highly recommended. Once again, I know I, I, I talk on them, but they're, they're great. If you go to Paint with Bram on any social media site, Facebook, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, get in touch with him. You can buy some of these brushes. Good stuff. So for this guy, we're going to go into some sap, screen, sap green. And we'll just tap that. We don't want too much color. Too much is hard to take away. We can always add a little bit more. So we'll come up here. And again, I think our sunshine is going to be, or just our light source, I should say, maybe around here. So we're going to leave that open and not touch it. And just come in here with some of this green. And we'll add some light to that later. But just loose. Let me get a little more color, a little darker. See, it's a little light, but I can add a little bit more. I want to have some dark areas in this sky. So go ahead and play with it a little bit. Just kind of smoosh your brush around. And where it gets a little heavier, it's a little heavier. And where it's a little lighter, that's okay too. Just kind of meets like that. A little more paint. And play with it. It doesn't have to be like I'm doing it. You can use a little of this, a little of that, a little here, a little there, whatever you see in your mind. I'm just giving you kind of like a a guide, and you know, your your trees don't have to be in where, where mine are. I'm just giving you a basic idea of how I go about this. This bleeds out here. Keep going with the green theme. Maybe come outside here. And fill in. Oops, brush just hit the dirt. Fill in some of this here. And again, this is just filling in these holes. When you do this now, a lot of these little shapes back here will start to look like leaves. And we really haven't done anything except for throw some paint on there. Okay, a little more sap green. And a lot of this is going to be covered with foliage, so, and rocks or whatever. We'll see. But I'm just getting some undercolor. And that way, anything that's showing through is going to have this green tint to it. And again, just chuck it in there. Chuck it in there. That's all you need. All right, let's come to the other side. Same thing. We're just going to fill in these holes. 
of course this the further out we go we'll make it a little darker might even add a little just a little more heavier paint on the brush I like the sap green because it's transparent this is a transparent color so when we put it over these dark shapes the dark shapes still show through and the green tints it up a little bit I like that. okay keep going again we're just filling these holes a lot of this will be foliage and covered up Yeah, dark on the corners away from the light this will be a little bit lighter here since the sun is there but over here it's going to be dark maybe some light on the outside edges and this is a little more deep in the forest I'm going to darken up this edge okay and because that solvent free gel is on here this paint just slides on real easy. And I'm just cleaning my brush off down here. Okay. Green down here. take paper towel and I'm gonna wipe some of the sap green out of here good way to clean it just hold it in your palm like this and just roll that brush get that color off okay and that's enough for rolling all right so we're gonna touch a little bit a touch <laughs> just a little of that phthalo green okay and I want to have some of that in my waterfall okay and then a touch in the water especially on this side where it's going to be a little more light filled it's going to get a little light here so we're going to put some of this phthalo green in the water Okay, I'm also going to grab, this is why I add it as I go, because I'm not sure, I'm seeing it now, so grab a touch of Thalo Blue, okay, don't need to clean the brush, we'll go up here and grab a little of this Thalo Blue, just tap it in, and we're going to... A little bit of that in here, a spot or two. So we get some different looks. And then definitely on this side, where the water is going to be a little darker. Okay. Good. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to get until you drag your... When we bring our white over, we'll see what, what colors come through. So that'll be fun. <laughs> some of this blue over not too much okay good I'm just cleaning off my brush it's a dark color and we're going to need the greens so just clean my brush off down here might look cool once we start putting some grass over top of that all right there we go so we're under paint is now on okay now we're going to come back i'm going to add a little bit of white here so i just got some straight titanium white on a fan brush and we don't need a lot i'm going to wipe a lot of this off straight white on a fan okay and we'll come in here and just kind of we're going to brighten this area that's too much the brush it's okay let me just get the rest of this white off of here Okay, let's come in here. 
and work this out into a little circle. We can always add and blend this away too, so which is what I'm going to do. Bring a little of this green back into it. See, it's going to tone it down. Just grab a little of the green and blend out the edges. There we go. Good. I use a little blender brush. Now we can come back to that same brush. We're just going to shoot Got some rays coming out of there. A lot of this is going to get covered up, but that's okay. So the next thing we're going to do, that's and that's all we're going to do with our sky. We're we're pretty good there. I might come back. Let me see, I got my little blender here. And just kind of blend out this area a little bit. Just to tone it down a little bit. That's good. I like that. Good. Wipe that off. Whenever you use your little blenders, just usually you can just, especially this brand blender, this is a great little blender brush. It's so soft. You just got to take care of it. You take care of it, it'll, it'll last and stay soft. But just get the paint off of it. Not too rough with it. And that's pretty good. And it's, it's clean. It's ready to go. All right. Now, the next thing will be uh, the waterfall. So what we'll need for this is a little bit of white. Start with a little. If you go too heavy, it's not going to work. Go light just a little bit I might even have too much there we'll see all right so our water's gonna be coming this way and down so maybe we start it here this one here. and drop a little more color on there good Just drop her down. That's all we're doing. Come straight, drop. Straight across, drop. And don't go over it too many times. Just a couple. I might add a little. Maybe it's shooting off a little bit. All right, the only thing I want to do is balance this out. That's good. I think I'm going to leave that. All right, I'm going to take my little blender brush here. And then we're going to come up against this. Soften that. You know, bring out those under colors a little bit. Yeah, just coming up. This is going to be darker down here. We're not going to see quite as much. Okay, good. Gentle touches. Don't go too hard. Okay, now I feel like I need to... See, my water's up here. We'll cover a lot of this up, but I need to contain this a little bit. So this is a little too low for that. So I put a little bit of Mountain Mix, which is uh, the Bob Ross color that basically contains all your darks. It appears black on the canvas. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, and we are going to build this up a little bit over here. So just taking some dark. feedback. Paint. A 
Oops. Start with a little, and you can add more. Okay, good. Okay, and now that we have that little looks better, looks a little more contained. We're going to go back now. We're going to put our rocks in. Um, that'll be the next step. And then once we get the rocks in, um, then we can work on our mist down here. But I don't want to do that until I get these rocks in. So for that, let's, let's mess around and take a little bit of black. It's just uh, gambling black. We'll mix a little white with it, make a little gray color. So a little white and black, black and white, a little more white. And we absolutely want this very marbled. You might even add hold on one second. All right, so I add a little bit of a dark sienna just a little bit yeah a little more white especially for these rocks on the top and we want those streaks see all those streaks all those streaks in the brown little gray little white when you cut your roll of paint off you're going to get that in your little roll as well so we'll come over here and we're just going to put some color where you think the light would be. When I'm doing rocks, I try not to think about styling a rock. More so, there's a dark area and in parts of that dark area, light will hit and you'll see that. And that's what this is. So we'll just gently... Put in a couple shapes where we think light would hit. So that don't get too much. We're up here, just a little bit of little bit of paint on your knife. We'll just put a little bit where we think there'd be a little light shine in there. Picking it up on that rock. We try and cover the top of the rock. Then as we get closer to the water, leave some dark spots in between and some dark spots underneath. You do this. It comes down a little bit. Take your time with these. Really take your time. Just don't throw them on there because you'll have a mess. Think about what you want to do. So this one maybe curves over. And down. Maybe here, here. And I recommend that you step back. Everything looks different when you step back. When you're looking at it from here, maybe not the greatest viewpoint. I might go back and touch. That had a lot of white in it, so I'm going to go back. I may hit a little bit of white. I want a little touch here. Maybe here. And leave, leave dark areas in there. So now we got some light hitting in some certain spots, and that looks pretty pretty cool. Okay, so now I see that, and then I see kind of another structure here. So again, just with the same same color we have pulled out, and we're going to be a little lighter on the top. So I'm going to cut off on my knife. You know what? I'm going to use the small end. Maybe this one. down like this. 
And I'm thinking here the water is cutting in front of this rock. So we don't want to bring that much further than that. Leave a dark space in between. That's back behind the waterfall. I need to touch the top of this rock a little bit. There. Maybe him with this one here. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Go back, and again, I'm using the small end of my knife for this, just because these are kind of tight areas. So, again, here. Maybe it comes down and then turns. Like so. And then all these dark areas, you you're gonna you leave those. Don't touch them. That's your your crevices, your your dark areas. Okay, maybe this chunk's got a little more brown on it. There we are. Okay. Take your time. Do not rush through this stuff. I think where a little ledge is, where new rock starts out. Maybe you got one. We don't want to go too bright here, but maybe you have one here. You can kind of makes his own little shelf there. All right. And pops down. When your knife is emptying, then you come down here, you get these little nice little scrapies, as I call them. All right, I'm digging that so far. I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, let's go over a little further. Okay. Again, still using the small end of my knife. And coming in at different angles on the knife, too. I got some paint on this side as well. So I could. Something like that. Remember, a little bit of paint. You can add more. It's hard to, if you overdo it, it's hard to take it away. Okay, and we're going to cover these edges because we'll have some foliage around there so okay all right now we'll come to this side on this side we'll get a little bit of light on the top so we'll take a little more of this white oh uh, let's see here and just kind of maybe over here yeah just pull that out use the small end get a little bit of paint on the small end okay maybe this top right here Something like that. rock hanging over. I do like using a small edge. A small edge just, just gives you more control. Um, maybe we have a, wherever you want to do ledge, you just build it. See that? Just build it on your own. Just a little hook and down. Okay. I'll make it actually a little darker down here. I might darken that one up because he's out of light. Uh, let's see here. We're just drizzling in some color. Again, we're saying these rocks we're going to cut in front of the waterfall a little bit. 
Yeah, it's going to be very dark down here. I'm going to make a little bit of a darker mix here. I'm going to darken this down just a little bit. It's a little bright for me. There. And the same thing down here. I'm going to darken some of these. Dark and a little too bright down here. Maybe need some sienna. Maybe come in here with a little bit of a little bit of sienna. I'm gonna just a drizzle. Just dragging some color. Just some stuff in the background. Okay. All right, I want to come back here. I need some more dark. So I'm going to bring some dark in some of these spots here. Bring out some of these shadows a little more. Okay. Now I think we're done. Now we're going to come in with a little bit of white on our fan brush. Again, I'm just picking up really some residual paint here. Just a little bit. And we need some uh, little mist down here at the bottom. So let's see here. The water's going to be coming down and hitting. And we'll have this little splash. Picking up that under color. And we're just swirling in some color down here. Wipe my brush. Pick up a little bit of that dark paint I had there, so careful. Actually, I probably should have wiped some of that off. That's okay. We'll go keep going over with a little bit of white. Okay, good. Maybe something like that. Not too much more than that. I'm going to take our little blender brush. Just swirl that in. Yeah. 
I'm just going to touch my blender into a little bit of white. To an extent, oops, a little heavy. All right. Still a little heavy. There's blues, we got the greens. Okay. Oops. Really didn't want that, but that's okay. We'll fix it. So we're going to have this water kind of working its way around this way. here or maybe we're getting a little more light and then it's going to drift off into this blue and off All right, I like it. Now I will say my camera, when I come back and look at behind the camera, that is much brighter on the camera than it is <clears throat> standing here. Um, uh, so if you wanna buy this one, it's not quite that bright, but it's bright, but not quite that bright. These colors are definitely a little more tamed. Okay, so we've got all of that. We're in good shape there. Um, and next, we'll move on to the trees. Okay, I'm going to come up here. I need to raise, raise this rock up a little bit over here. So I'm going to build off of this. And we're just going to put this in here. And bring that in there. Just feel like that needs to be a little bit higher. Like that. I like that better. Okay. And then we'll come back. Take a little bit of this highlight color. Okay, I like that better. There we go. And I'm also going to bring this need to cover this. Let's close this off a little bit. Then highlight. Bring these rocks down just a hair. Uh, 
Okay, I like that a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to highlight some of these trees here. So I'm going to go into some, I got some sap green, as you can see here, a little bit of cad yellow, I'm going to steal, and I did touch a little bit of white as well, just to lighten that. And then we're going to come over here, I'm going to steal a little bit of liquid white. So a little liquid white, okay? I like to deposit that in the side and then tap in to our color. Like so. So just that top corner. Maybe a little more yellow. Okay. And just tap the top corner. I'm using a half round. You could use uh, one inch, uh, top of a two inch, one inch. Just using this half round so we get some color in there. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Again, just using the top corner of the brush, we're going to pick a few areas. Remember, a lot of these holes will serve as leaves, so we don't want to overdo it. Okay, we're just going to tap a few areas. Leave your darks. Okay, good. Just tap into that color. Okay. Got okay, just a little bit. the other side. Again, same thing. Just tap in the top corner. Let's get a little more yellow in this. So a little more just to change our flavor up on this side. Going a little more straight yellow here. Just put a few highlights. Steal a little bit of this phthalo green, a little bit, and go into this green, add a touch. Let's see, maybe no liquid whites needed. So a little bit of phthalo green into the green.
color. Maybe steal a little yellow ochre. A little bit of that in there just to change it up. So just grabbing a touch of that ochre and bringing it in here. yellowish, a little yellowish green in here. Close that down. Good. Okay. Back to the other side. Again, just some of this green, a little phthalo green, a little yellow, maybe a touch of ochre. Just tapping. Top corner, top corner. Okay. Maybe this comes here. Covers some of these rocks a little bit. It's kind of a jungle. More liquid white. And we'll put that white to the side. And then come back into our color. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Okay, a little phthalo green. So again, some liquid white so we can thin our color. And again, I just like to put it to the side a little bit. And then we'll come through this yellow. And we're going to steal a little sap green. This yellow. Green and yellow. A little liquid white. Okay. Just kind of push your brush into that. Get a little ridge of paint. See that little ridge of paint on your brush. Okay, let's come down here. Let's see. So it's going to be a little bright on this side because it's going to get some sunlight. Our lights coming this way. We're going to be a little brighter here on this side.
just doing where the light will be coming in here and hitting. some straight yellow. And just tap in with the fan brush. Just tap in. A little darker up here. Okay. Now when we come over this way, we are going to use some of this a little more of the sap green with just a little bit of this yellow color and not too much just to keep it darker as we move away from the sun light so this way transition from the we'll make that a little darker over there. And again we're just tapping with our fan brush. lighter color and blend it into this a little more. And go with that darker, darker color. over here it might be a little darker we'll add some dark to that I think we'll see Just happen. A little more of the darker green. It's got a little phthalo green, a little yellow, a little sap green. Take some of this dark color. This is a little bit of the uh, mountain mix in black. So let's make let's make some bushes down here. So wherever we want our bushes, we can just tap in, in the dark area. 
Okay. here. all down some of these bright spots it won't be so bright with that bush in front of it and we're just going to tap those and they'll get a little darker and that's it so let's grab a little bit of the blue and we're going to come down in here into our yellow, which will make a cool green. A little liquid white. Again, off to the side. A little phthalo green as well. Alright, I'll tap Pull that through. And just tap, tap. and lighter as we go back in the bush. And we'll add a little touch of ochre into that same color. One more color. Let's come here. A little darker to the back. side. So we have a little phthalo green. A little green. One a little darker on this side. Okay, 
keep moving. Maybe a little more ochre in that color. Just tap. Push, push. A little ridge of paint at the end. And lighter to the back of the bush. Lights here, so it's going to be darker back here. Bring this edge out a little bit. Come back to the other side. This is going to have a little more brightness to it. lighter at the back of the bush. Now we'll come in, grab a little bit of our white, and just cut off a little bit. We'll put a couple little water lines here. Moving this water this way. blender and just gently go over that. Stretch it this way a wee bit. And we'll put in a couple, a couple little trunks coming up here. Just using my knife. I'm just using a little dark sienna. Dark sienna on the knife. Trunk sticking out.
And again, just a little sienna. And we're just plopping in a few trunks here and there. here. So a little dark. Cover the base of that. here. Okay. 
in some of that gray and white. here maybe at the base of this darker back here because we're behind that bush. Good. And I still want to come in here and take some of this mountain mix. And I'm going to kind of tap my fan brush, display it out a little bit. I don't want to come up here. I just need to punch in some dark. The 
does some of these areas a little bright. Putting a little bit of dark back in. in some spots. Very good. I think I'm going to leave that. All right. Now I'm going to come through real quick and just touch a few highlights. Straight cad yellow. I think the sun might hit a little bit. here. Again, just a little straight cad yellow. Spots. Okay, let's put some trees in. So we're going to start right here. I've already started. Go off the canvas. Come down. And we're coming this way. And we'll plop him right there. Kind of taper him off a little bit. Paint. Top good coming off the canvas. And wider down here. Just like that. Okay. More paint. Come on the edges and wiggle a little bit so your bark is not straight. It's got little movements in it. back with some dark 
just put some Bob Ross Mountain Mix here. I'm going to come back with some dark and just darken these up a little bit, especially on the right side. All right, let's throw in some big trees. Really darken this side of the tree as it's away from the light. Then we'll put highlights on it and such. Okay, good. Okay, let's make another tree. We will put, let's see here, put up some color, I'm just using a fan brush with some, I got a mix of the browns, burnt umber, dark sienna, van dyke brown, a little bit of the mountain mix, and we're just taking a fan brush and loading both sides. Okay, so our next tree we will put, let's see here, maybe this one starts here, just on the side of that light, and we want to bring her down, let's see here, right in front of this one, so maybe it starts here, okay. comes around. Bend our turn our brush over. Comes back this way. And we're going to take this one off the bottom of the canvas. Like that. Let's go back. And off the bottom, like so. Okay. And we'll put another arm on him. Uh, maybe he comes up here. Like so. And I'm going to just kind of wiggle that brush a little bit. Look at little abnormal shapes happening on the edges. A little thicker down there. Okay, good. Now we'll come to the other side. Let's see here. Let's come back here.
like that. And maybe, let's see. This one starts up here, comes down, like that. More color. That's right there, on top of that rock. color. Get a wiggle. Get your edges a little irregular. Okay. And let's see here. So, off the canvas, back there, okay, and let's see here, maybe this splits off a little bit, right here, Maybe this comes off of here. Comes a little over there. Okay. Oops, forgot to turn my camera on. Just adding some branches onto some of these trees here. Just a couple. There we go. Maybe here. Good. Just a couple. Maybe come to this side over here. Yeah, just a few off of this. Thinner. And we want this paint to be kind of watery a little bit.
keep your limbs on these a little high. Don't come down too low. Thinner. Stow this out a little bit. here.
We'll darken some of this up. Just trying to touch the insides of these trees a little bit where the sun is hitting. We've got a little yellow and sap green. A little heavy just go over it a couple times and she'll disappear okay, good now we'll come to the other side of this tree here Keep moving. <clears throat> All right. So maybe we'll just have a little bit of light. Let's see a little darker here. Let's go over here. I'm going to touch the side. darker down here behind this bush. color. Alright, let's come back here. And we're just going to add a couple of these lines just to highlight this side a little bit. Okay, we're going to come back and we'll, we will dull this down. Just go over it a couple times and you can get it to where you like it. same brush clean it off a little bit I'm going to grab a little bit of this white I have a little bit of white here it's going to kind of steal a little bit of this white and go into what we had here a little more the thinner let's mix that up 
a little darker color coming back. Steel a little less dark. Okay, twist your brush, twist your brush. Get it to a point. Okay, and then maybe here. Might not be doing that, it's not light enough. through a little more. Filbert. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with our Filbert brush. I'm just going to use again some of that same color, some of the yellows, a little bit of this darker mix that's in here. Okay. Yeah, a little green, just dulled down yellow. Okay, and now we'll come over here on some of this, and we're just going to kind of drag our brush. Hopefully it's not too bright. Let's see what we got here. Yes, yeah, it's easier. Much better. And we'll just, oops, a little heavy there. We'll get rid of that, don't worry. A little less up here. In spots. Okay, I'll come over here. Whoops. And again, if you get it too heavy, it's easy to fix. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Just rub it a couple times and get it to where you want it. It's okay to have a couple brighter spots because that's where your, your sun's going to be hitting. All right, I do want to come over here. We need to brighten this one up a little bit. There, there. Good. And you can play with this, take your time, make sure you get the stuff right. A 
darken that up, don't worry. Smaller branch, we'll get back to our liner brush. Not everywhere, just in some spots where you think the light would be peeking through. Okay, a little more color. Come down the inside of him. Wiggle and jiggle that brush a little bit.
Put some lines in, then I'm going to come back and blend this a little bit. Take this out. This is way too bright. Bring that down just a little bit. There we go. That's better. My little blender brush and gently carefully bring these down a little bit but at the same time make sure I have a defined edge over here Brighten the side up a little bit. Okay. And I'm even going to come back and I'm going to put some dark color in this tree. darken that up. This tree's kind of silhouette-ish. Couple more over here. I got a hit that I missed a little bit. Let's go up. A couple here. Okay. Touch there. Maybe a little here. Not much. Keep those a little darker in silhouette. This one. Maybe a touch on the top of this one. Maybe here. OK, 
careful. Too much more. I'll leave that one alone. All right, let me see here. Darken this just a touch. A lot of these, if you come back and you just go over them, it really just blends them in just a little bit. Like I said, you want to leave some bright spots where the sun's coming through. And there's maybe it's hitting a little bit. Just touching this outside edge. A little reflection. Just a little light blending. I'm going to leave that touch on this side. Okay, good. Maybe a hair here. And just putting in some shadows here, just some dark paint, and extend the direction of your sun. And the same thing here. And it doesn't have to be exact. So we just got a little shadow happening there, and that's good. And I'm going to go back. Missed a couple little tree limbs. Okay, so let's go up into here. There. You don't have to get them all, but... It's nice if you can see them. Good. Maybe on the inside of this one. It's kind of off in the background. Here. A little more paint. Let's see, what else did I miss here? Spots here. Just 
a little bit there. Right here. And here. Okay, now <clears throat> we're going to add a little bit of, of just a few leafies. So we're going to go into some, I got some yellow, some cad yellow, and a little bit of the sap green. We want to keep it pretty bright. And we're just going to go into a couple spots. So I'm just using the top corner here, getting some of that color. Okay. And let's go up in a few spots, maybe here. spots that are catching a couple of leaves here and as we go over here we'll go a little darker just a little bit bring some more sap green into our color Good. We're going to leave this one dead. Just a couple spots here. Good. Let's see what else we got. Be enough. This comes over the trunk a little bit. Got to have a few come over the trunk. Let's see here. Maybe here. this side comes over like that and maybe we have something right around here off a low branch
Okay, and I think that will do it. All right, I think we'll leave that as it is. Okay, I think we have a completed painting. Um, again, thank you so much for painting along with me. This was a blast. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, as always, and I hope you give this one a shot and uh, let me know how you do with it. So thank you so much again for, for painting along with me. Uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All the best.